Welcome to my shop. This is an unboxing of the Record Power SC4 Chuck, which is uh, what I understand is very similar to the Technotool Supernova Chuck. Uh, I was intrigued when I saw this advertised uh, in a recent issue of Craft, Su uh, Craft Supply, so I wanted to, uh, to review it. So let's open up the case. It starts off with it's, it's got a very nice uh, plastic case. Certainly nicer than a, a cardboard box, but functionally I really generally don't use uh, cases. Um, it comes with a chuck, a threaded uh, chuck insert uh, for the price, and it comes in all your popular uh, sizes. What does strike me is it's not uh, hexagonal, which means you have to use a spanner wrench to get it on and off. So pulling out the body feels very similar to the Technotool. Can't help but do a comparison to the Technotool, but since it's, from what I understand, it's almost a knockoff in that it uses the same type of jaws uh, interchangeably. One thing that is visible to me that I was alerted to is it does have larger uh, jaw glides. Uh, a little bit beefier, uh, but the hole spacings are identical. The ridge cuts here for the jaws uh, should be identical because the jaws are interchangeable. It appears to be nicely machined. It uses the same type of uh, Allen wrench, and I'd have to, you know, they describe it as a feature being able to use a ball wrench and move it slightly backwards in case you got a bowl wrapping around. But I'm here to tell you, you're better off cutting this off with a hacksaw based on my experience because it'll do less wear and tear. Uh, on on this pinion and you get a better grip. So unless you have some reason for needing to come back here I would cut off the tip. Um, the back of it looks very very similar to the Supernova 2 in that it is indexed. It's got a composite uh, back held with a, a clip very similar to the Supernova 2. How the scrolling feels. Seems to scroll uh, 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 easily. It, does, it is coated with grease. It'll need to be cleaned off, but it's uh, not as bad as some uh, as the Technotool uh, Titan Chuck that I received. That was just really, really coated. But it it seems to scroll very tightly, and very smoothly. Um, the one thing that is noticeable to me is there's not as much play in these jaws as there is on a Technotool. I'm not sure what the significance of that is since the Technotool seemed to run true for me, but there is, I, there is some noticeable slop in the jaws until you tighten them up. And in this case, I can see that there is no, no slop. Um, I see they do number their jaws similar to Technotool. This is a variation of the Patriot, which I understand does not number their jaws because I guess they feel like they're uh, machining is such that they don't need to keep them matched up in the same order on the same uh, glides. Uh, I think similar to the Technotool is when you reach the maximum outer diameter there is a stop on one of the jaws, uh, one of the jaw glides that prevents it from coming all the way out which is a, a safety feature uh, that most chucks have observed, most modern chucks have observed in recent years with some type of uh, uh, safety uh, lock to prevent them from threading all the way out. Opening up further, I see it does come with a spanner wrench to uh, tighten and untighten. Slice that open. I don't know that this is necessarily advantage. Uh, it, the one thing it, it does look like it would be helpful for besides tightening is it looks like it would be helpful for uh, taking this off if it's snug against your spindle. Uh, so that could be a very nice feature that eliminates the need for a hexagonal design. Um, I see the wood screw looks virtually identical to the Supernova 2. I'll have to check that more 
uh, carefully and it comes with an Allen wrench. I noticed that the screws appear to be identical uh, and they are uh, uh, slightly concaved uh, to fit in the, in the chuck which is similar to the Technotool. Now looking at the jaws, uh, I have to open, cut those open. They appear to be virtually identical to the uh, standard jaws on the Supernova 2. Uh, I like that design, uh, this little small dovetail. It's not a true dovetail in that it, it has a length uh, of the dovetail like the outside. The inside has what uh, record uh, power indicates is a hawk, a hawk tooth. Uh, a very miniature dovetail or a ridge that bites into the wood and in my experience that's been a very very good design I like that much more so than serrations that you'd find on the typical one-way uh, stronghold or or talon chuck and I, I like that because you can do a parallel tenon and get a bite in and a parallel tenon is easier for me to to put on on a bowl or uh, a spindle than a, a dovetail for the uh, for a tenon It does come with an instruction book, which I've already looked at. Uh, the, the instructions are, are adequate. It's a combined set of instructions for the SC4 as well as their SC3, which is roughly comparable to the uh, Technotools G3 chuck. Uh, they're adequate instructions. I, I find the instructions that come with the Supernova 2 uh, a little more comprehensive and the additional documentation that NOFA provides on their JAWS uh, is, is, uh, is also useful. But overall so far it looks good. We'll just have to try it out. I did not evaluate a record SC3 chuck, but I can say that the specifications are make it appear to be quite similar to the uh, NOVA uh, G3 with a similar open back and a geared uh, same geared chuck key. It's, the SS3 is lighter and more compact than the SS uh, than the SC4. Makes it a, a better choice for uh, mini lathes and, and small to medium sized lathes. It does have the same larger, the SC3, I can tell from the specs, does have the same larger uh, jog glides that the uh, larger brother SC4 has. Um, some packages for the SC3 come with a 2 inch face ring uh, and optional jaws so you might want to check the description before buying so you know exactly what you're, you're getting. The record chucks are manufactured in China and come with a 5 year warranty. The Technotool chucks are also manufactured in China and recently they had a 2 year warranty but they just recently changed that warranty to 6 years possibly in response to uh, the, the record chucks. The jaw profiles uh, are very much a, a personal preference on on what you turn and how often you turn and, and what your and what your budget is. I started with a Technotool Supernova 2 uh, eight years ago and it it came used with a mini lathe along with all sorts of uh, different jaws. So my jaw sets include those that are shown in this picture here, which include the long nose jaws, 25 millimeter bowl jaws, 35 millimeter bowl jaws, 50 millimeter jaws, 35 millimeter spigot jaws. Uh, some of these jaws I would never have purchased and get very little use. I've since obtained a Nova Titan Chuck and, a, and the Power Grip jaws and a Nova G3 and a Precision uh, MIDI jaws. <clears throat> For anyone owning a Technotool uh, or Robert Sorby Patriot or one of the SC or one of the record uh, chucks, they can now look beyond the manufacturer of their chuck for other jaw sets. Most of the jaws tend to be uh, interchangeable, they, I mean, they almost identical. So in that case, just look at the specifications and you know if you're looking for an additional set of jaws, get the one that uh, are the least expensive. But each jaw manufacturer does offer a uh, one or more unique jaw sets that might be the perfect fit for your needs. Um, for example, if 
uh, I like the standard uh, profile of the uh, record and, and the Techna tool and it has that tiny little ridge of that hawk beak that bites into the, the wood. Uh, that same profile uh, record offers in their smaller uh, chuck jaw, the 35 millimeter. Uh, so if you need a, a set of chuck jaws for smaller tenons and you like that profile then, then get that one. If you like the dovetail, true dovetail profile on grabbing tenons you might look at the set uh, the chuck set, uh, rather the jaw set, that comes with a Patriot for the 35 millimeter. The outside are virtually the same except it has a, a true dovetail as opposed to the hawk beak that the uh, record set has. Uh, another example of a unique uh, set of jaws might be the Tecna Tool 100 and 130 millimeter jaws which gives you the feature of fastening uh, wooden accessory jaws to it. So you just need to look to see what uh, what's offered. The record uh, chucks are sold by Craft Supply in the US as well as uh, Woodcraft. You can also get them on Amazon and I note that Highland Woodworking has started carrying the smaller SC3 uh, chuck as well. In conclusion, after using and evaluating the SC4 chuck, I believe it to be very well designed and easy to use appears to be excellent quality and a solid choice for almost any, any wood turner and the cost is very comparable to the, to the uh, uh, comparable Tecna Tool or Patriot, the Sorby Patriot uh, chucks. I've been quite satisfied with my Tecna Tool chucks but if I had to buy another chuck I would certainly consider the, the record chuck. I hope this evaluation has been useful for you. If it has, consider uh, uh, subscribing. Uh, comments are welcome. Thanks.